Yo guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another video on Let's Talk Sports. I'm joined on this Tuesday afternoon by Zach to unfortunately talk about the end of Jaguars rookie running back Travis Etienne season. Now, Zach, preseason is one of those things where injuries are part of it, right? Like it seems like every team normally has like a big injury that affects them come regular season. And unfortunately for the Jags, their rookie first round pick out of Clemson is going to miss the entire season after being placed on the injured list with a Linz Frank injury in his foot. He will undergo surgery, a league source told ESPN. A big blow here, Zach. I want to see a first round pick, especially somebody of Travis Etienne's stature get hurt. I mean, it legitimate. It, it obviously hurts, right? But it doesn't hurt as bad as what people may think right away because Jacksonville has James Robinson. Yeah. The, running, the undrafted running back out of Illinois State, who last year ran for over 1,000 yards. He was fifth in the league in rushing yards at seven touchdowns. So, I mean, they have the depth, actually, when it comes to the running back position, and they have James Robinson. They also have Carlos Hyde as well, too. There's going to be a potential connection with Trevor and Travis but that is out the window now so urban meyer has talked about the fact that he wanted to use travis Etienne the way he used percy harvin at florida uh, he'd actually been lining up as a wide receiver in preseason and was hoping to bring that big play element to the offense Etienne is the all-time leading rusher in acc history so he obviously you know He's done a thing or two at running back, but he had shown great signs as a receiver. I think the biggest concern for me here, Zach, is like how this injury could potentially affect his career going forward. I have done some research. I, I've watched a couple of YouTube videos and people say at times after you go through that surgery, you can lose a bit of your speed, which for somebody that relies on it the way ETN does, that, that could be a, a huge blow. Again, fingers crossed that he's gonna be all right. Um, I'm a little upset though, like, like we talked about that Trevor Lawrence ETN connection, I feel like would have been awesome and something to, that would have just been special right off the gate. So we'll see what happens guys. Let us know in the comments down below what you guys think. Please make sure you guys do drop a like. Make sure you guys do drop a subscription. Check out Zach, he streams down on Twitch every single night. He will be linked down below. And so next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.